doing today today is Sunday I am sitting in the van it is going on 2 p.m. or after 2 p.m. I think it's going on 3 p.m. and I'm sitting in the van I've been editing videos and I just got through editing five videos and uploading them to YouTube and no four videos and upload them to youtube this is going to be video number five so <clears throat> i'm about to get up because i have something else that i want to work on today for the van before it gets dark and since it's late already sometimes though even though i want to get up earlier and get out earlier i can't because i need to edit the videos and get them out before I continue so what I need to do is my other phone that I can film with I don't have everything set up properly on that phone to edit the videos the same way I do them and add my intro and my outro in it on that other phone so I need to set all that up so I can not be delaying getting up in the morning and getting out just because I don't have enough room on that phone. But I really don't like the film on two phones because then I be having content over here and content over here and I be wanting to put them in sequence <coughs> and I want to make sure I don't mess up the sequence. So I still have to film everything on that phone before I move to editing on that phone. Otherwise stuff will be out of sequence. Uh, and y'all will be like, hey, didn't you? I don't know. So anyway, y'all, uh, I'm getting ready to get up. Start my day. As far as getting out of the van. So how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all had a beautiful day today. Like I say, today is Sunday. Last night, the propane tank ran out of propane so I think I'm going to I don't think I'm gonna go get any propane today because I don't have plans to go to that side of town so if it gets cold tonight I'm just going to have to rough it out like I did last night. It was it was a little cold last night. I can't remember if it was in the 30s or the 40s. But <clears throat> it was a little cold last night, but I had three blankets on. So I made it last year in a van with no no heat, no installation in here or nothing. So I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Y'all know the routine. Y'all know the routine, right? Right. It'll be all over. In the morning. 
Uh, so, what do y'all typically do on Sundays? What do y'all normally do on Sunday? I know some of y'all going to church, cooking dinner, spending time with the family. Some people do they routines to get ready for the week, wash clothes, iron clothes. Some people food prep on Sunday so they can have some food cooked for the week. What does your Sunday routine look like? I still haven't found my SIM card, y'all. That's a catastrophe. <sighs> Jesus. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? And how there could they be? Because if I'd have swept the floor, I'd have seen them SIM cards. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, this is what I got to do every morning. I got to, I got to pick up the bed and get everything out my way. And it's, it don't, it's not a hard process. I don't mind it. Uh, I like my bed set up. I really wouldn't change anything about it. The only thing that I'm looking to change in the future is I have a, uh, comforter set on my Amazon wish list. These comforters and stuff, they don't match the decor or anything and I just got these uh, temporarily just to have something to stay warm in the winter, but don't really matter to me but eventually we'll switch them out when we can I'll be on the lookout for something else to switch it out in the future <laughs> I said I don't get that that uh set off the Amazon wish list but it's not that pressing or urgent uh, so today, I got my, let me show y'all. So I got my pine pebbles for my portable toilet, so I need to put them away. It's a 40 pound bag and it costs $6.49. And I'm trying to find out how long it lasts me. I tried to go back to my old videos to see when did I buy my other bag, but I don't remember when I bought my other bag, so I couldn't find out to see how long it lasts me, but I think this lasted me over four months. So this time I'm gonna document it and we are gonna see how long these pine pebbles last me. So I'm getting ready to put on my clothes so I could go and fill up everything and switch out everything with my pine pebbles and yeah i think that's gonna be a separate video though because i need to document uh me and them pine pebbles and my portable toilet so i'm about to put on my clothes put back on what i had on yesterday and yay i'll probably go take a shower later but for now i'm just gonna put this on i'm back y'all i'm back i'm back like a snack attack y'all do y'all believe the less people have the harder they work 
the ones who want to achieve something because there are some people who don't have nothing don't want to achieve nothing do y'all believe that the less people have the harder they work the more it motivates them to achieve something I kind of think it is a motivating factor in the case of some people. I do think that the less some people have, the more it just motivates them not to necessarily, because not everybody is motivated to try to get things, 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 but they're motivated to succeed and accomplish uh, and not necessarily have their eyes on a monetary value, but more so just accomplishing something and being successful. Uh, so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about people uh, that have less, that you see doing more with less than the people who actually have more. Uh, I really think something is going on with my neck. I really think my neck is getting better. Um, also, I believe in doing things the natural, slow way at a slow pace progression. Say for instance, with my neck, um, I'm taking the time to heal my neck slowly. The excess skin that was pulled out for years uh, because of how big my neck was, as my neck is going down, the skin is tightening back up with it. But if I was to say, for instance, have a surgery on my neck and have my neck removed, the, the garter removed, unless they take that excess skin off, I think I would end up with excess skin and a scar. And doing it this way, I believe that I won't end up with a lot of excess skin and a scar. So I said that to say when you want to lose weight, go about it the slow, easy, natural way. Because the faster you lose the weight through diet pills or whatever, you're going to have more excess skin and flabbiness because you are not taking the longer process and letting the skin get used to, you know, the elasticity and going back with the process. So that's just food for thought, you guys. That's what I got for you today. I'm about to take this, uh, this, black seed oil oh i'm gonna wait to take the black seed oil because they say take it with a meal so i haven't eaten anything today so okay, yeah i just moved somewhere and i'm gonna wipe my face off with a wet wipe i haven't had a chance to wash my face this morning so i'm gonna just use a wet wipe Just so y'all know, when I say my monkey funky, <laughs> y'all, I <laughs> wipe my monkey with wet wipes when I use the bathroom. So, do you use wet wipes on your monkey? Let me know. I'm getting hungry. I ain't had nothing to eat today. Not even nothing to snack on. So, I just want to come and wipe, wipe my face. I'm getting ready to start a video on my pine pebbles. So, let's get it. Let's go.
What have you done for me lately? Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna set up to do my video on my portable toilet. Let me stop acting crazy. Y'all, I cut my lip and I was trying to figure out how I cut my lip. I forgot. I had licked the envelope the other day. I forgot I had licked the envelope the other day. It's a nail off. Probably, I probably that much time before it turns dark but that screw on to my I don't know if I feel like digging in here today I think I'm gonna have to go in here anyway so I might as well look for it in here I've been wanting to do my nails with these fake nails so I don't know if this come with the glue already let's see do it come with the glue yeah it comes with the glue so I had two different sets let me show y'all the other one Had two different sets. I'm gonna put these on today. So, but while I'm in here, I got some water that I want to fill this up. Yeah. 
I got water in here. because I haven't been using it. So it's staying too full. I'm gonna put a little Clorox in this water bottle and spray that because Okay. I'd rather fade the towel than the half. What did I just do with the water? Oh, then the half some meal do under here. I don't want to spray. Let's get stained. Just pour a little on that. My thing wasn't working, so I couldn't use. I couldn't use the water out of there, so now it's working. So I need to use my water. Okay, y'all, I was gonna, um, shoot this video professionally on my other tripod but I can't find the stand to my tripod so I'm just going to wait and I'm gonna have to do it another way uh, but anyway I'm about to end this video 
and start another one so thank you guys for subscribing to the channel hitting the notification bell hitting always and be sure to come back for another video with vanessa's van life journey thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell hit always i don't know if i just said that y'all i'm losing it and leave a lot of comments in the comments bar below i'm reading the comments off in the videos to say thank you for everybody that's leaving comments when the video first come out and usually when the video first come out i'm also commenting in the comments with you guys to the first uh few people for like the first five minutes to leave comments on the videos so make sure when y'all get the notification that y'all watch the video right away and leave some comments okay bye now thanks for watching